Hello, and welcome back to Lord Fan Gaming Plays Wasteland 3. I'm your host, Lord Fan Taste Wasteland 3 Walkthrough Part 23 video. We're going to mess with the Reds, get some collectibles, Part 1, of course, and complete all the cyborg chickens and bring them home here for something great in the future. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Wasteland 3 videos like this, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be updated more. Let's go ahead and talk to one of the Reds. I need some help! Yes, Rangers. I'm so glad you're back. My wife and I need help. Raiders strap bombs to us with some kind of proximity trigger. If we get near each other, they'll blow up. Our friends died and no one else will come. Most people are afraid of bombs, but not you, right? I think she's over by the big entrance. I'm not sure because we know if we get too close to each other, we'll be turned into wall smears. I miss her a lot. I don't know. Some psychos jumped our group and knocked us out. We all woke up with bombs strapped on. Those lunatics were laughing when they told us how the bombs worked and let us go. My friends didn't believe them. There were parts of them everywhere. Wait! There's a special trigger. You have to disarm both bombs at the same time or they'll explode. Same if we get too close. Please, send people to my wife so you can disarm them at the same time. Thanks, Rangers. We thought we were dead for sure. Hmm, they are running a scam. That is for sure. Let's go ahead and check the other one out. Over here! Please help me! Oh my god, Rangers! I thought I was dead. My husband and I need help. These psychopaths tied bombs to us. But if we get near each other, they'll explode. No one else will come. They're afraid of getting blown up. These have to be disarmed within a few seconds of each other or they both blow up. I think he's by the garage. I'm not exactly sure where because we're afraid to get any closer. That would trigger the bombs. I think he's okay for now. Please, you have to save us both. Some crazed raiders outside the city. They jumped us while we were looking for supplies with our friends. Their faces... Their bombs blew up when they got too close. I'll never forget the shock as they went to pieces. That can't happen to me and my husband. It just can't! No! The failsafe! You have to disarm both bombs at the same time, or they'll explode! Send someone over to my husband, please! Thank you! I'm over here! Please help me! You know what? They try to separate us so they could kill us. That is not going to happen. We're going to go ahead and attack one of them all together and then take care of the other one. Lock.
Everybody, call the marshals! Yeah, they try to kill us. However, bad news is the whole entire HQ got upgraded. And yep, good things happened. So let me explain on how the uh, battle went. You want your six rangers to attack one of them, mainly the one with the blade. Do not worry with the one with the Molotov because the one with the Molotov does less damage than the one with the blade. That blade hurts. Still, that blade is very useful against robots and certain creatures. Not really against humans, but still, it's a nice weapon. I'm going to go ahead and give the ghost some more recon by giving him strength. I'll probably do 5-6, stop there for a while, then start doing a crit hit bill or something like that. Adding more intelligence and charisma. Everything looks good. Let's see who else does need to level up. Mm, okay, that's just normal. That's normal. Oh, right. I think I saw, I saw someone, but still... They're uh, dead, and that was a fun fight, though. I'll uh, definitely admit this. Fortunately, Sammy cannot equip that melee weapon yet. I'll have to uh, level that up. But for now, we are done with this uh, area. Now, next thing I'm going to do is uh, is actually uh, do uh, one more check. I'm going to show everybody the uh, Kodiak upgrades. I forgot to do it in the last video. Before we do it, let's go ahead and get healed up, because... Yeah, a few of us got a little bit nicked, but we uh, won the uh, battle. That was a very uh, fun fight, though. I mean, it was one of the uh, good ones, and it was uh, also well-written, too. I mean, I had a good time reading the uh, dialogue, especially the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, fake bomb <laughs> that the two had. So, next up, you go towards this terminal, and go ahead and use it. I'll show you how to upgrade your uh, stuff. Now, I don't have much right now. That's why I'm doing this collectible run. Anything I missed, yeah, it's a good time to uh, do this. Otherwise, you probably have to uh, do that one uh, side mission where you have to get a thousand. Yeah, from good old Charlie. 
And now I get to do the appearance. I think it's just for show. That Dorsey helm helmet is nice. Yeah, we killed Erastus. Oh, yeah, the clown. Yeah, we're going clown on this one. And, and next time I do go on the world map, yeah, I'll have to test that out somehow. I haven't figured out the horn yet. Now, that is a finish. I am going to do is go into Colorado Springs downtown and start my collectible run. Yeah. You see, you want to get all the collectibles you can in this game. You might find something very nice too while you're doing so. For example, if a uh, lore book's in a locker and then you find a nice uh, sniper rifle in there with it, yeah, it's a good idea. Now, first thing I'm going to do is go into the marshal's uh, station. I could not open this door. Well, because I have scotch mode, I'm able to uh, pull this off. So I'm just going to check everywhere to see if there's anything else for me to loot up. Nope. They, they will actually allow you to get inside, despite the fact this is the Marshall's HQ. No problem, no penalty. And there is a cassette tape, and you definitely want to get if you're collecting cassette tapes, lore items, or just doing a collectible trophy slash achievements. Plus, it's a good idea to get what the Marshalls are really all about. So, we're going to loot everything in sight. I'm going to listen in on this tape, and I'll return when that tape is done and finished. Now, next stop, before I go ahead and grab the cyborg chicken, is the clothing shop. I'm just curious what's inside that safe. A long time ago, I defeated the Dorseys in one of my earlier playthroughs. Could not open the safe. Now I have access to it. Before I do this, I'm just doing one last look in the Marshall Station. Because we're basically uh, done. Yep, looks like we cleared it out, cleaned it up. Yeah, this is a loot run slash collectible run. It's an excuse just to save money for the, uh, what do you call it, level 1 radiation uh, armor. So this way we go through the uh, level 1 radiation in a future Wasteland 3 Let's Play slash walkthrough video. So before we're doing that, let's go ahead and talk to the shop owner. Well, actually, screw it. Let's uh, just loot the safe, then talk to the shop owner. Good news is he won't care. And look, we got something. This is uh, nice. It's some kind of love there. I'll sell it, but let's get an update. Look, Martha, it's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts with your name on them. Hardly a crossword between us. Been making clothes and adornments for the hundred families for 30 years. Most of them won't buy from anybody else. Of course, we sell to regular folks, too. Plenty of less expensive items in stock. Repurposed or restored garments, mostly. Yep, it's a clothing store. It looks like it's low level with some nice, uh, what do you call it, armor modding. Low level on this. Has a few, one or two mid-level ones. Oh, well, this was uh, nice to actually uh, check it out. I mean... We saved this guy's shop, did the right thing. Yeah, unlike in the last video, I did something bad. We did something good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and check out the museum before going inside the apartments. Because that's where one of the first uh, chickens are at. So, I'm going to go inside. There is something in there I will have to uh, get. I actually forgot to uh, do this. Yep, definitely forgot it. So, it is over here. Yep, I forgot to grab this. And let me... Uh, 
do this. Oh, come on, hurry up. We have Scotch Mode leading by the way. And, oh, this is a decent uh, stuff. Oh, more stuff to sell. That's uh, good. That's uh, good. That's really good news. So I'm just checking this around like a quick uh, look over. I think nothing else is there. Now, the apartments, uh, let me explain. There is a lot of loot there. I am really serious. So much uh, loot there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead on in. And we're going to loot everything up. Now, there's a trophy slash achievement related item. It's a briefcase. You need to bring it towards the end without opening it up. That's why I brought Scotchman with me since we're going to go inside all these uh, locked doors. And somewhere, someone will have it. But let's go ahead and just uh, loot everything in sight. And I think it's uh, one of the other uh, rooms. Once we get in there, and we'll get the briefcase. I'll explain a little bit more on that, but let's uh, get what we uh, came here for. Find those tables used to break encryption. Meet space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. Redundant variable detection grid populated by live stream data. Alert. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. Ensure transactions in mempool always have unique keys. Yeah, that briefcase you need to do is not open it up until the very end. Then at a certain point, I heard the trophy slash achievement will pop. So basically you need to bring it towards the end of the uh, game. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and check everywhere else in this apartment. Yeah, we're on loot run. I'll put timestamps in video. All right, another uh, toaster. This is uh, really good. So I'm gonna make sure I definitely uh, loot that up. Ah, oh, that's decent EMP grenade and Colorado dollars. That's uh, good. Yeah, good thing Luis has that uh, one nice perk. Now I'm gonna probably say toaster repair. The loot's uh, decent so far. If you have uh, enough so what you call it, characters to do that, then go ahead and uh, invest in that. Otherwise, yeah, hold off on it. And let's check everything else. This is uh, good. Another uh, safe. Oh, wow. It got dinged up a little bit. Frag grenade. Those are always useful. And another uh, modding stuff. I'm still uh, looking for loot. Yeah, like I said before, you want to check everywhere to a previous location if you have a certain new party member or after a while you upgrade certain uh, skills in the game and I'm looking for that cyborg chicken and I'm gonna check this room out first huh get the fuck out of my apartment now I'm gonna quickly show you location of the chicken besides that tenant was very funny get out now, you see the, uh, we call it, generator you gotta repair. Yep, yeah, that's where the cyborg chicken's at. You still need the ammo whisperer skill in order to get them. Before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and check out this landlady's room. Yeah, she's so nice of us, let's raid it. So what we're gonna do is listen in on a cassette tape while I get my setup to open up that door. All right, Marshal, so listen up. Won't take my noise complaint seriously and do your damn job, and I guess I'll just have to do it for you. There's been strange noises coming out of apartment three all week. People yelling and stomping around at all hours. It's strange mechanical sounds. He could be making bombs for all I know. You say you need evidence? Well, Irv just left, so I'm going inside and documenting everything I find. Uh, who's there? Oh, uh, it's uh, it's Rosie the Bomb, the landlady. I was just checking to make sure you were okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? Oh, well, you know, the noise. I'm fine. Want to quickly know how I uh, got this. First of all, repair the generator with mechanics. Afterwards, use your ammo whisper skill to convince the cyborg chicken to follow you. After that, just get out of there and bring it back to Ranger HQ. I am not going to show that off at all. I already shown that off in the uh, last video. That was the first thing I did. I'll show it off one more time just to uh, end the uh, video. Show you all uh, five of them together. 
Now, next up, we're going to go into Little Vegas. Yeah, the uh, aftermath, what we uh, did after we rested Farron Brigo. Yeah, that was a fun side mission. And I made a save just in case something happened. And I dropped off the cyborg chicken. Now, you're asking, why am I in here? Collectibles and anything else I missed. Yeah, you heard me right. So, I'm going to go ahead and explore Farron Brigo's office. Just in case he has a safe or something so I could just raid it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's very funny what they said about him. He still looks the same after 30 years. And this is a nice uh, place to explore when you actually arrest Farron Brigo or uh, kill him. So what I'm going to do is uh, go towards the back room and grab some loot that I should have grabbed a long time ago. Hot damn, look at all that loot! Scotchmo likes that. <laughs> now, next up, what I'm going to do is just loot everything in sight. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. Now, I could not pick locks on the other stuff. And besides, it was guarded last time. Some of it. Well, no one's here. So, good news is we get some uh, goodies. Now, if you're going for a trophy slash GM, you got to make sure you uh, grab those. All right, another uh, skill book. This is uh, good. This is uh, really uh, good. There, we got it. And let me uh, check the safe out. We're going to go ahead and loot up the safe. Everything about collectibles in today's video. So let's see what's inside. And getting some free loot too. In case you missed those. Good news is there's no uh, point in no return area so far I found out in this uh, game. Well, I'm not counting the first area. That was just a straight tutorial. And there were no collectibles there really. Let's be honest. So I'm going to check this out. Oh, yeah, that does look uncomfortable. Now, one of the collectibles I had to make a judgment call on, I didn't like uh, doing. Yeah, it, it was a borderline between something. I'll uh, explain when I get to that uh, section. Now, let's go ahead and loot this up and see what's there. All right, that's good. Let's uh, loot this up. And there's one more thing to loot. It has a cassette tape. This one's actually... Uh, Pretty uh, fun to listen to, so I'm gonna let this whole thing roll. Hey, what's the matter? You wanna join the outfit, but you ain't got the lingo? Well, congrats, Jabroni, cause you come to the right tape. The Gangster's Guide to Diction got everything you need to know. It don't matter if you're a bag man or a button man, we'll have you talking like a made man in no time. So grab a canoe and pull up a chair, and let's get you mobbed up. Now, I'll admit, that was a good one. Now, we're going to go upstairs. Yeah. Now, I'm going to give a nice uh, little warning about the uh, other tape I cut out. If you're playing this uh, game and you don't like the adult nature stuff that's uh, coming up, I advise uh, muting the TV. Also, um, yeah, just uh, don't put in uh, subtitles. Now, I decided to loot this uh, safe up. Looks like there's drugs. It must have been related to uh, Ken Doll. Speaking of Ken Doll, where the heck is he at? He was a nice uh, person. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and explore each and every one of these rooms. Like I said before, this is a collectible run slash money run. And I have Scotch Mode. And this is a Scotch Mode centric episode. Yeah, I was thinking about doing Scotch Mode's face all over the uh, four corners. I decided against it. Now let's check this out. I'm going to say this right now. This is totally useless. This is just there to sell. Sell it all. I mean, seriously. Now we're going to come up soon on the first tape. It sounds like someone's working out, which is fine. And then the uh, second one is the, uh, yeah, that one. That's why I gave that warning. So like I said, for you playing this game, you don't want to listen to that tape. Yeah, mute your TV and of course uh, take off the subtitles. But let's go ahead and get this first one. Hail to the king, baby! Time to get sweaty. You ready? Let's do this! Bicep! Yeah! One, two, three, four, five, come on, get it! Seven, eight, nine, ten! Shoulder 
press. One, two, three, four, five. You know you love it. Nine, ten. Ugh. On your back. Yeah, bench press. One, two, three, four, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Who's the king? You are. Twenty squats. Yeah, bust them glutes. Five, six, seven, eight. Just what the ladies ordered. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen buns of steel. 1920. Love yourself, baby. Yeah, that last tape I didn't air. I'm sorry, but I'll uh, put timestamps in the video where that's at. Also, uh, I'll probably do most likely if I get all the cassette tapes, I'll uh, just uh, point out where that's at at least. So we're done. We're going to go to the Garden of Gods, collect some collectibles that I couldn't access earlier. Plus, we're going to get the second cyborg chick and yeah you see i want to get them all for that bok trophy slash achievement plus another potential companion yeah we're gonna have another one on our uh, side so just go the direction i'm going right now just keep on uh going this on direction because we're gonna go back to the lockers i finally figure out on how to actually get it to uh work yeah i decided just uh check this out the second uh looks over Missed something, then I came back, recorded this, and I found it. So let's be careful. You need to do is separate one person from your party to stand on the, uh, what do you call it, the pressure plate, and then uh, use the computer and then access that safe. You, and of course, uh, then you um, get what you need inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and show that once again. I forgot to loot it up, though. That's why uh, when I came here. So you go over this one. Yep, there you go. We got someone there, solar power, which is a uh, great access the terminal. Make yourself a new user. Once you're done with that, try getting that safe. Yeah, I'm just showing you the steps right now and I'll show you what's inside and nerd stuff. Yeah, because we have greed in the party is very high. I'm going to try and max that out for uh, good reasons. Grenade. Okay. Colorado dollars. That's some useful uh, new player items. But there was a collectible in there, though, if I remember right. If I find all the skill books, I'll uh, definitely show you that location again in a guide. Now, I could disarm this, see if I get anything out of it. Nope. Oh, wait, I already did. Now, I'm going to show you where the cyborg chicken's at. Just like the previous one, I will not show you me uh, bringing it back. That's going to be for the end of this uh, video. And there you go. You're going to need that ammo uh, taming skill. And we're going to talk to it. And there's Joey talking to it saying, oh, it's cute. And go ahead and then do it. Now it will follow you around. Well, actually, Scotch Mo. So what I'm going to do is set myself up near the mechanic shop. See if there's anything there. If not, I'll update everybody on that at least. So let's uh, go over there. Zone on in back to Colorado Springs downtown. So far, we're almost done with Colorado Springs downtown. We just got one more uh, area or so to uh, check, which is the mechanic shop, before I go to the uh, rich area. I'm going to try to get as much as I can finish in this uh, video. But the chickens, we're uh, definitely going to finish them all up. So we're going to go uh, over here at the mechanics, see if I uh, forgot a safer uh, two. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing stuff that uh, I couldn't do uh, early on. Now I'll be able to do it thanks to quite a few levels. So let's uh, see. Now what happened was is uh, this. I checked the shop off screen and yeah, nothing there. Nothing in the machine shop. So next stop is the rich area. We're going to raid Lucia Wesson's house once again. This time anything that was locked will be unlocked. So let's go on into the rich area to rob it. Now we're in the rich area. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm going to try to raid much of this uh, stuff as possible. And we're uh, going back to Lucia Wesson's house. Yep, we're going to definitely uh, get some free loot out of this one. You see, we uh, didn't couldn't get some of the stuff before because we didn't have Scotch Bow. And of course, or uh, I should say more like it, our uh, pick locks was not high enough. Well, guess what, everyone? It is high enough and there is a cassette tape. So let's go ahead and raid this sucker. 
Dearest Lucia, I pray this message finds its way to you, as it is the last I am ever likely to give. Whatever becomes of us, you must blame yourself. I know you would have wanted to be here at the end, but I am glad you are not. Open the door, Wesson! Time to face justice! Your mother and I love you very much, and we are so proud of you. You are destined for great things, Miss Lucia Wesson. I regret that I shall not live. I'm going to go ahead and grab a few more things, loot everything up. So let me explain uh, what happened next. Now, you know the uh, bunker. We went for the uh, Lords of War side mission. Yep, there is uh, two squadrons. I'll probably say three because I missed a room of mercenaries. As soon as you get in, you'll get ambushed. Yeah, it looked like uh, they tr uh, came back and <laughs> that was an interesting fight. You'll uh, see all that unravel. Second one was very easy. Third one was very easy. So I'm going to try to do this after that. At least to defeat two of the three in this video. I'm going to go ahead and grab the final uh, chicken. So let's go on in. Get ready.
I almost lost the Provost. Still, I got some nice stuff from this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clear this room out. Then I am going to go uh, grab that chicken. Yeah, I'm going to definitely uh, grab that cyborg chicken and then turn it in. Then I'll probably end the video there. Still, just be cautious. And, of course, if you have uh, pick locks and clear out this entire area, you will not need to uh, worry about coming back here. Still, this is good fun. <laughs> All right, the second one was much easier. We'll get some loot. I'm going to come back here in the next video to mop up these things I could not get. So let's uh, get on out of here and get to the church. That's where the fourth and final cyborg chicken is at. Oh, yeah, we're uh, doing that for the future, building a cyborg chicken. It's much better than robot chicken. And Scotch Mo is officially drunk. When he's drunk, he gets to do more damage. I'm liking this already. I might as well start giving him those uh, squeeze-ums because he's going to be drinking a lot for us. And besides, I always like Scotch Mo. He's a great character, uh, especially from Wasteland 2. should definitely uh, play it. So, here's the deal. You're going to need to do is uh, go to a switch. Yeah, you see the switch against the uh, wall? Go ahead and flip it. Once you're uh, done flipping it, use your ammo taming skill to uh, actually speak with the uh, chicken. We are actually will escort it back. That's the last thing I'm going to do in this uh, video. This will be the fourth one. Once all five together, we will have to play the waiting game. And there's another skill book. Yeah, we'll, uh, I'll definitely put timestamps and videos for uh, that too. So just uh, go back to Ranger HQ, drop the last and final chicken off, and then just uh, wait really. Yeah, I'm going to say this right now. That was some good times in this uh, video. Three combat, two by accident, one on purpose. Still, that was really fun. So while I'm uh, dropping off this chicken, let me give a nice uh, recap for uh, today's uh, video. First of all, we found the Reds were uh, really bandits in disguise to try to separate our Rangers just to assassinate them. Possibly were sent by someone else. After uh, this, we check out the Kodiak shop for upgrades and show you how the upgrade system uh, works. Go grab many collectibles and, of course, you reunite all five cyborg chickens. In our next video, we're going to go ahead and finish the rich area of collectibles. Well, except for the Patriarch's Palace. I'm going to save that for uh, a future video. 
And then we're going to go into the world and collect the two collectibles at the uh, heads or tails spot. Well, this is it for my Wasteland 3 walkthrough part 23 video. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button and check out my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or the bottom left hand corner YouTube suggestion. Have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe.